Hello there mga kawan! Welcome back to my channel. Tara, ating panoorin at pakinggan ang Q&A round sa Miss Earth 2022 at ang winning answer ni Miss Korea. And as you can see, the other delegates will be wearing headphones so they will not hear the final question. Each will be given 30 seconds to respond until she hears this warning chime. Let's begin with... Australia. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm more stressed than you. I really am. This is your... Oh no, this is my parking pass. Um, can we get it validated? No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> All right, Australia. You brought a big posy with you, Brit. You, you brought your crowd. This is it. It's come down to this moment. And this is your question. What is one thing you want to write in this world? And how would you write it? One thing that I would write in this world are the wrongs done to our environment. For too long, it has gone unchecked and we are seeing the consequence of this. As someone who grew up in the countryside in Australia and got to travel my nation living in a tent for 14 months, I've seen firsthand the impacts that climate change has on our beautiful nature. And so if I could write, I would beg that everybody please reconsider and do your best to ace climate conservation. Beautiful. Australia, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Let's call out Colombia. Colombia, you're gonna have to match the energy of Australia. I'm just, I'm just saying. Come on, she's, she's a little nervous, I'm sure. I hope you didn't hear the question, Colombia. Same question for you. What is one thing you would want to write in this world? Right meaning the opposite of wrong, not writing. And how would you write it? So what is one thing you would want to write or correct in this world and how would you correct it? Thank you. Well, I think we should start writing about the human rights and about the real protection of the Mother Earth. Equality, the way we treat human beings, we have to treat fauna and flora, we have to take care of the ecosystems, and we have to realize that we are in our planet, our mother earth, which is just one hum. So it's our responsibility to write about it and to make sure that we really take care of it, not with talking, but with actions. Thank you. Columbia, ladies and gentlemen. And then there were two. Let's call up Palestine. Who said that? I want to meet the fan. Where's the Palestine fan? Make some noise. There you go. Hi. Same question for you, although you had your headphones on, so I'll read it again. What is one thing you want to write in this world, and how would you write it? I think I would want to fight the ignorance and selfishness of people, because I think that is the main problem that we are facing today with all of the issues, including the environmental catastrophes that we are facing, which are made from humans. So, me personally, my environmental advocacy was launching an, an educational campaign with governmental and non-governmental organizations in Palestine, including the United Nations, where I educated people about the dangers. And I think that it starts with education, and that's how we can really solve the selfishness and ignorance that we see in the world today, and save planet Earth. Thank you very much, Palestine! And there certainly is quite a lot to write in the world right now. And maybe our next contestant has the answer. Maybe she can uncover it for us. Ladies and gentlemen, Korea! Hi, 
Hi, Korea. Okay, Korea, same question for you. What is one thing you would like to write in this world that's incorrect, and how would you correct it? Could you repeat the question? What is one thing you would want to correct in the world, and how would you correct it? If there's something I would correct in this world, it would be um, being empathetic. We often mistake kindness as being empathetic, but what being empathetic is really putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And when it comes to climate issues and other issues in this world, one has to be empathetic. You need to really see how the other person perceives this world. You need to understand their pain by being in their, in their shoes. And that, I feel like, differs from being empathetic. Kindness and empathetic can be different. And if I get the chance to really define it differently, that's how I would define it. Like Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Korea, by being empathetic and learning empathy, putting yourself in other people's shoes, and there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition is officially done. It's now all up to our judges to decide who they think